Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to discuss something I haven't covered yet, and this is actually a, a power connector that I'm making for VFD to supply power to the unit, and this was requested by a client. These connectors you can purchase in either Lowe's, and, Lowe's or Home Depot, and you can see here the connector type. It's uh, and this particular version is a 650p. It's got the two prongs and then the center prong. It comes with an additional prong if you want to change its configuration. But he sent this to me and I wanted to go over these because a lot of guys may only have access to what they have available in their Home Depot and these connectors are a little different to do. Um, and again, they do of course uh, require the screw-in terminal types, uh, but I don't trust them typically. What I like to do is solder the tips and if she pans over here, you can see these actually pop out the prongs. You can remove them. Once I insert the lead, I always then go back over and actually solder in the tip to the brass conductor. And in this way, you get the best of both worlds. You get a physical connection and you also get the solder connection. Of course, you have to use ample amounts of flux and you also require uh, a really heavy type soldering tip. Uh, and that just increases the heat. Uh, overall, you can see here how it comes out. Again, we use double wall heat shrink, so we've got a nice rigid connector here where it goes into its stress relief, beautiful stress relief. Uh, again, this is tapped, the metal, and then inside there is a silicone ring, and you can see there how everything just sits in beautifully. You can see it's bottomed out perfect, and when you get golden, this connector, or this can, uh, actual connectors cover is really interesting in that it's got a little bit of a tab and the tab just comes in locks in comes over and you can compress it and again it locks in with bolts okay each side in this instance something else I want to point out you can see it says black white and green green of course being ground black and white being hot now what usually happens, and this cable is no different, a lot of double shielded cables may not have a ground lead. So what you must do, regardless of what cable you're working with and regardless of what connector you're working with, you wanna go in and make sure that somewhere either on the cable itself or externally on the housing, you put uh, a note to whoever's working on the cable that red will be ground, okay? And that's totally acceptable to do. In this particular instance, I'll create a graphic and we'll stick it on here so that he knows red will be ground. And then everything else is set. And the reason I did that, of course, is because white and black is already allocated on these two terminals, so it makes sense to do that. Again, it is a 220 plug. So again, we have two hots and then of course one ground. But you can see how this is assembled. Very, very straightforward. Uh, it takes a little practice. Make sure you cut your leads long enough. That's the big thing. A lot of guys will cut this way too short and you have to actually, you can see how the leads actually coil up. Everything there is relaxed using heat to get these coils nice and relaxed. We don't want sharp kinks and you're all set to go. I mean, that's the main thing. Um, your terminal here then comes in in an L form and then again you can see where the ground is soldered and on the opposite side of course you can see on the black and the white it would also have a soldered contact. So again, completing the connector and you know you're getting the best once again of both worlds on top of the lowest possible resistance there is. So again guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I know there's a lot of different connectors out there. I'll cover as many of them as I do that are more unique because I think you guys all have something to learn from this. Um, other than that, if you do ha uh, have any questions or require quotes, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com or through my eBay store, eDealers Direct. You'll see the link in the description. It'll be on the screen. It'll also be underneath in the video's description and you'll be all set. Thank you again for your support. Take care.